Charge It Anywhere allows admins to easily enable their Salesforce users to take payment from any object inside of Salesforce. In the next five minutes, I'm gonna teach you how to payment enable any object or any Salesforce native application using Charge It Anywhere. Let's dig in. To start this simple process, just navigate to the object of your choice and click the gear icon and then choose page. That brings up the Lightning App Builder. Locate the Charging Anywhere Lightning component. It's near the bottom on the left-hand side list. And drag that to the desired position. It can go anywhere you like on the page. However, we recommend placing it at the top of the right-hand column on the page. This just makes it easy to access for your users. Now, we will simply configure the advanced features of Charging Anywhere. We're going to use the built-in Lightning Component Configuration page, which you see here. First up, we've got the gateway settings. Admins can elect to specify the gateway that they use on this specific page. This is optional. There is another option that you can allow the user to pick the gateway they want to use or they should use when they pull up either the payment console or the payment request page. As I want to set the gateway for this page, I'm going to need to grab the gateway record ID. As you can see in this org, we have several different gateways. So to configure, I'm going to need to grab just one of these IDs. There are several ways to get the gateway record ID. One quick way is to use the URL in the address bar of your browser. Simply double click the ID inside the link and copy this record ID. Next, just drop the ID here in the use gateway ID field. And that's it, the steps accomplished. Next up, admins can tell Charging Anywhere where to draw the amount to be charged from. This pre-populates the charge amount in the payment request and the payment console features. For this example, I added an RMA field with the type of currency to the case object. To get the API name, I want to go into the Object Manager for the case object. Open Fields and Relationships section, search for the field name. Again, I called mine RMA. Under the Field Name column, I will copy the exact API field name, and then I'm going to paste it back into my Lightning Component Configuration page. We've also integrated the Recurring Amount field for you. So I will use this same process that we just discussed a moment ago to grab that field and drop it into the default recurring amount field, just like we did above. Next, you can either show or hide the add check, add cash buttons. You can see them displaying and disappearing right here. Next up is the billing account lookup field. This allows your users to quickly choose a contact of that account. Once the contact is chosen, Charging Anywhere will draw the name, the email address, and the billing address details from that contact record. Same for the contact record field. We'll use the same copy-paste process we discussed just a moment ago to choose and populate the values into these two fields. Finally, we had customers that wanted to rename the charge button. They wanted to say something else like, pay now. So we built the payment console charge button text setting. It's your process. Call it whatever you like. Well, that's it, we're done. Congratulations, that's all we need to do here. As I already activated and assigned this page, I can just click the save button. Well, how about that? You just payment enabled that object for your users in under five minutes. If there's anything we can do to assist you, please reach out, we're here to help. Hey, thanks for watching our video. While you're here, please subscribe to our channel Click that notification bell for immediate updates. If you'd like to talk payments, please get in touch. We're always here to help.